pots or cones or plungers with bows on them. And the pylons are essential to the handlers to help us know where we are in the space because we, our choreography makes pictures in the space. The space is our blank canvas and our dogs are the medium we use to paint a picture on that canvas. So Joan has already shown you that dogs move forward and can move in what we call a heel position on either side. And in freestyle, we strive for a dog who is physically balanced and will work equally well on both sides. So if you have an obedience dog who has only ever healed on your left, you have a dog who has not only muscles, and tendons and ligaments and joints that are trained to bend around your body to his right, but you have a dog whose nerve pathways, whose very nerve pathways are only trained to respond in that direction. And you've got a bit of an uphill battle to help your dog learn to bend the other way. Your agility dogs are luckier because they've been working on both sides So with live organisms, one choreographic concept says that all movement is forwards, backwards, sideways, or around. Those are the only ways we can move while gravity is working its magic on us. And so healing on both sides is important in freestyle. It's, it's so important that having your dog at your side on one side or the other in heel position is called a foundation position or a reference position. Now in freestyle, it doesn't have to be with your dog's body between his nose and shoulder on your pants seam. And it doesn't have to be two inches from your thigh. As long as the dog shows a consistent placement of his heel position, which is um, easy to tell if you do a recall to heel. You want to show us a recall to heel? always comes back to the same place. As long as that's his place, that's sufficient in canine freestyle. Um, could we see a lateral again? A lateral is, oh no, I beg your pardon. Um, just calling to front. Another reference position is the front position. One of the requirements at all the levels is to do front work with your dog which means, simply means that your dog is in front of you and does something. It can be as simple as a recall, it can be a spin, it can be in anything you want it to be. Um, it's funny, freestyle has its fads just like anything else and currently it's a big no-no to walk into your dog to make him back. So to me, sadly, that means that I can't back my dog in front of me anymore because <coughs> He doesn't respond when I simply say back. <laughs> and hold still, I have to take a step. And right now, that's a big no-no, so we're not backing. Um, so those are two of the reference positions. And then can you show us a thunder? Oh, do you remember a thunder? Yeah, you, uh, OK, I'll show you how to do a thunder. Um, thunder put bottom, is, put bottom, this is 90 degrees. Uh -huh. Yeah, you step into thunder. Don't make him do it. So, well, you're almost there. May I just touch you? Yes, you're been thinking of the words. I lose my words after a while. You're walking. You have to move your feet, baby. All right. No, walk. Step up to wait. Wait. Step up a tiny. 
Now Bob's in thunder position at your side, but instead of facing your direction of movement, facing you. So those are the three reference, thank you. Those are the three